standing at the back side of the main house at Biscaya Museum and Gardens. And uh, you see that balcony right behind me. Uh, behind the window in that balcony was the shaving pedestal of the founder. And uh, every morning as he was shaving, he had a magnificent view to take in. I'll let you take a look at that. So if you saw my previous video on the work that Biscay is doing to virtualize spaces that visitors can't currently get to, it's funded by the Knight Foundation, uh, the view behind me is going to look familiar. This is the barge. It was uh, sculpted by Alexander Sterling Calder and uh, quarried from local stone. It had two primary purposes. Uh, one was uh, as kind of a party barge. Uh, it was landscaped. There was a gazebo on top of it. Uh, the founder and his guests would have parties there sometimes. And um, also it has a very important secondary function and that is to serve as a breakwater. So we have storm surge, some hurricanes occasionally. This breaks the waves so that they don't reach the house, which is very close to the bay. It's a magnificent structure. We do visitor studies and we see that there's lots of dwell time in this spot. So visitors spend a lot of time taking a look at the barge, wondering what it's like to be on it. And that's the reason that we've decided to create the 3D models. Because of its uh, very practical secondary function, um, it also suffers a lot of damage and has conservation issues. Take a look at it. There's a little bit of rubble currently on top of the barge. Uh, that was from Hurricane Irma, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about that uh, when we go back to the kiosk. That's all for now.